Hey guys, welcome back here to Born Beautiful. You're with Amy. I am so excited to be back here with you guys, and that is because, as you have seen by the title of the video today, we are doing my part two to my eyeshadow palette collection. Now, if you didn't see the first one, I highly suggest you guys to go check it out. I will leave it up here for you guys. Seems reasonable. 60 palettes around, give or take a couple. Yeah. <laughs> If you're up to it, I highly suggest you count them and let me know at the end how many you counted. But without further ado, guys, yeah, there are a lot of palettes here. Ooh, and I remember my last video was like 30-something minutes long, so we're going to try to make it shorter this time. Like I did in the last video, I'm kind of give going to give you like a little mini review on the palette, my overall thoughts, whether I regret purchasing it or not and yeah guys that's pretty much that started. if you are new make sure you take a second i'll give you three three two one subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up if you like it already before we get even started and if you don't okay wait till the end and then give it a like but you should give it a like now team like before watching <laughs> So the first babies that I have right here, guys, are these two palettes. Uh, yeah, they look like brothers or sisters. So the first palette that I have here, guys, is the OG Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. This is one of my babies. I love this palette so much. I love the way it smells. It's just like... Oh my god, it's so intoxicating. I love Too Faced. Too Faced has to be probably my favorite brand i must admit i love cute things i fall for them i am a big collector of stuffed animals like i'm not ashamed to admit it stuffed animals rule the world <laughs> so i love this packaging i love the quality of it i love smelling it I, like when you're blending it onto the eyes sometimes you get a little bit of fallout and it accidentally falls on your lips and then you go like and I'm like, oh my god, it's so good. It's like chocolate without eating chocolate. <laughs> I wonder if this actually has, like, calories. Mind blown. <laughs> so, yeah, I love this palette overall. It's beautiful if you're, like, a neutral tone lover. If you love, like, kind of those chocolatey colors, obviously, chocolate bar palette. <laughs> this is palette is definitely for you. Totally worth it. Even though it is one of the OGs, like, OG palettes, mm -hmm. it is still baby the next palette is totally the opposite of the chocolate bar in the sense that it is not an og it's like the newest one well it's one of the newest one and it is the melted chocolate gold Too faced palette how beautiful is this packaging so i have tried this palette and i'm actually planning on doing a full in-depth review once i like actually get my hands fully complete into it like i really want to give you a full in-depth review of it but so far what i can say about this palette is that it smells beautiful like i could smell it from here it smells just like the chocolate bar it actually has gold in here like there is actual gold in here which is so mind-blowing these i think for Too faced are the best metallics they have come out with are they the best though in the market no but for Too faced these are really really beautiful look at that gold look at how beautiful that is and then look at this color oh they are not the creamiest i've definitely felt creamier they are a little bit more in the dry kind of metallics but they're gold dipped, right? Uh, they are gold dipped, <laughs> literally. <laughs> These are beautiful. Oh my god. And I have been playing with this palette, and what I can say is that I actually really, really do love it. But you definitely have to be a shimmer, kind of metallic, foiled eyeshadow lover in order to love this palette because you only get four mattes. But these four mattes that they give you, I feel like they're perfect. You get that black for the smoky color. You get that brown to really deepen out that crease. You get a crease shade or a transition one, and you get a highlight one. So you basically have everything you need and more. So highly recommend this palette for you guys. The next one that I have here is the Laurent Pro. I feel like I'm going really slow with the reviews already. This is another OG and I love this baby so much. I used it up so much at one point. You know like the Too Faced Chocolate Gold one. You remember saying that how it's like a little bit dry? This one is not. This one is the contrary. This one is so buttery soft. Laurent still has to be one of my favorite eyeshadow formulas. Um, if not the best. It's like okay it's number two. Number two when it comes to formulation definitely is Lorac. I love the Lorac because they're so creamy, buttery, soft. So they do have a little bit of fallout. But 
it like it doesn't matter because of how creamy and how easy they are to blend on the eyes so the little bit of fog that they have that does not matter to me when the eyeshadows are so beautiful okay the next one modern renaissance palette like anastasia beverly hills you hit it out of the park with this one and a lot of expectations were um left with this palette and I just love this palette. This one, it has to be one of my most used palettes. It is one that has like the bigger dents in the actual eyeshadows. And the reason for that, I think, does have to do that Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadows do tend to have a lot of fallout, in my opinion. I know people were criticizing the subculture. Yeah, it has a little bit more than this one, but I still think this one has a lot of fallout. And I just love these eyeshadows. I use them so much, and you could tell the dents. I don't think you could see them, like, on the camera. This one, for example, Tempura, I think that's what it's called. Yeah, it's like almost completely gone. Like it's crazy how how much pan I've hit on that. And you know, like red ochre is like the next one to be hit pan on and love letter. Those are my colors. I love warm tones. If you love warm tones and you don't have this palette in your collection, I don't know what kind of world you're living in, but you need to go hop on that bang wagon right now. And the next palette that I have your Anastasia Beverly Hills Prism Palette, one of my favorites. Ah, I love this palette so much. I love the exterior packaging. It has to be one of my favorites. I don't know. I kind of want to do a video talking about like my favorite packaging makeup. Like, I don't know. Holy Grail packaging. <laughs> this has to be one of them. I love, I love anything that looks abstract. I know I like cute things, but I think I might like abstract things just as much. And this is one of the few palettes that actually has like that abstract kind of like prism to it. And it says prism right here. So mm, I love this palette so much. This and it is so colorful. It is gleaming with colors. And guys, do I love color? If you see my tutorials, you know I love color. I love color so much. And oh my god, Pyramid, one of my favorite shades of all time. So beautiful. Oh, I really hate doing like really hard swatches because I hate wasting my eyeshadows. <laughs> one of my favorite colors is definitely Lucid. It's so pretty. It's totally like the one I wanted in the subculture because it's like a very beautiful highlighty color. It kind of leans a little bit green yellow, but it's so pretty. But the one in subculture, guys, okay, let's get to subculture while we're at it. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills subculture palette. This one, I love this palette. I love it. I know there was so much hate around it, so much controversy. The fallout is enormous, but if you know how to use it and you take care of your eyeshadows, if you like Lorac eyeshadows that have a bunch of fallout, it's a beautiful palette. I love this palette so much. I recommend it to those of you who like to play with color, who don't get intimidated by taking an hour with your makeup. Like, if you enjoy it, if it's like a therapy session for you, like a spa, like a you time, you want to have this palette. It is beautiful. I love all the colors. The only color that I don't like in this palette is Q. And th that's what I was talking about when I was talking about Lucid in the other palette. Um, this one is just weird. Like, you swatch it. It has some pigment on the eyes, though. It's really hard to get it. And it kind of looks ashy on my fingers. But then when you go ahead and you swatch it next to Lucid, this is Lucid right here. Like, it's like a pink-red shift to it. And it's so weird because I feel like it could be a highlight, but a highlight for, like, a really light-toned kind of skin complexion person. Not for me, but as a highlight shade on the eyes, it just doesn't go. And I could use it, like, if I have, like, a pink or a warm tone look going on the eyes. But this isn't a warm tone palette, so it really made no sense why I would put, like, a pink highlight on my brow bone I can't I guess I kind of had to admit that I'm not that hard to please the next part that I have here is gonna be a shame guys and you're probably gonna be like Amy are you serious is the naked heat palette by urban decay that is still in the packaging I have yet to use this palette and I don't know why I honestly don't know why I think it's just because I have it I had it in a separate pile with like new things and I just didn't get to that pile so I just never got to this palette and I don't know what happens but this palette like the packaging is beautiful I don't know maybe I don't like sexy packaging maybe I like cute packaging I don't know but I mean I'm gonna use it I'm throwing away the packaging today bye the palette 
and these are totally my tones it, you like orange red kind of like brick colors you need this palette like simple uh the next palette this is my number one favorite palette like this one has my heart i know like i did an eyeshadow like top five or top ten um a while back but over time i realized that this is my favorite one this is my favorite one. this is the queen of hearts palette i still save this leap because i love how abstract this one is as well you see what i'm talking about me and abstract things yeah this is the colored rain queen of hearts palette it is beautiful I love it. It is perfection. I love the black on the exterior, even though I would have preferred this. And I love the gold in the inside. It's so classy. It's sophisticated. There's just something to it. Really, really, like, it turns me on, basically. <laughs> and when I look at these metallic shades, I just like, oh my god, they're so beautiful. This is my number one favorite eyeshadow metallic formula of all time. It is beautiful. I love it. The mattes are incredible. With and then look at this gold. This gold has to be my favorite. You barely touch it and you get so much pigmentation, guys. Like, it's just like, oh, dreams do come true, basically. And, like, I need to get Cheers to the cheers to the Hearts or something palette that Color Ring came out with. I haven't gotten my hands on that one, but I need to. Next palette that I have, sad, but I haven't opened either. This is the only other one I haven't opened. This is the Tarte Make Believe in Yourself palette. It has a lot of shimmers. I mean, I think it's only shimmers. But, um, I don't know. And I really like shimmers. If you know me, I like shimmers a lot. Yeah, it has one matte. But I don't know if I should keep it or not. Like, you guys, let me know. Should I keep this palette or not? I haven't even swatched it. Like, if you own this palette, let me know. Do I need it? I mean, I think I've swatched it at Sephora. And I think that's the way I got it. Because I did like it. But I don't know. Like, I don't know if I'll play with those blues and greens. Like, I don't know. What do you guys think? You decide for me. I love the packaging. I think that's also why I got it. The next palette that I got, I got it when I got my like 20% off coupon from Sephora. And I had to have it. And it is a Sephora Pro Warm palette. Of course, I had to get the warm. I kind of want the editorial one. But with the price, I was like, no, I mean, just settle with the, with the warm one. Oh, look at those colors. This palette screams my name. Like, I love this palette so much. It's so beautiful. And there was a month, maybe like three weeks, where I really used this palette. And then I kind of just stopped. Went on to another one, a new palette. And, yeah, that, that tends to happen. Uh, so I really need to open up this baby again. The thing with this is because it's hard to store away. I end up storing it and then kind of like not reaching for it because it is hard to store away. So so beautiful though i love it i love it so much let's show you like three shades oh so pigmented pigmented i don't know where i got some black from like where did i get that black from i have no idea the next palette that i have is the Too Faced best year ever 2018 palette this was uh the sephora sephora exclusive one i believe i think it was this palette is beautiful if you didn't get it and it goes on sale like on the Too Faced website um i highly recommend you to pick it up even if it doesn't go on sale if you like these colors i recommend it to you guys it's actually really really pretty they are not the best formulation but if you're a Too Faced collector i feel like this is one of the best holiday ones that they have come up with so i highly recommend it if you're a Too Faced lover like i am if you already have these colors in other palettes then probably go ahead and skip out on it um and you probably did already i love how we have everything in just this one little book i love that it's not as heavy as the sephora pro even though like you might be like okay so this one's made out of cardboard it's cheaper but i don't know this one can get a little bit overwhelming with the weight on it meanwhile this one is really light really handy easy to travel with it's like a little book and i love the colors that this has i do have to say the lighter shades when it comes to Too Faced i don't really like but the darker ones i enjoy and the metallics i love trimmed is so beautiful i used it i think in an eyeshadow um tutorial i will leave it if i did i will leave it up here but if, but if not i know i have a tutorial with this palette so i'll leave it here because i also think i did a warm tone one definitely did a warm tone i don't know okay but this trimmed one is so pretty and so is this plum pudding i like this one a lot too 
so pretty and i know a lot of people are like oh you know Too Faced is always putting their pink in there but i feel like that kind of makes it Too Faced and they're never the same like you think they look the same but they're never the same look how beautiful those are those are really pretty pretty swatches the next palette that i have here is the jaclyn hill times morphe palette i was so excited to get this palette guys and i took forever to get it one because i was not gonna be there like with my phone waiting for the restock time to get it and like yeah i'm not about that that so then what ended up happening is what she never told anyone not that i know of and they launched it at ulta and when i got the platinum thing emailed saying you can get the jacqueline hill palette from ulta now new packaging and like the colors are all in the back like you don't need a, a sticker sheet or you know a separate sheet with the colors i was like oh hell girl i'm getting it hell yes and then i had a 20 percent off or yeah 20 percent off any item drugstore this morphe is considered dressed or ulta so i was like bomb i got it free shipping i got it with 20 percent off like i was like what and new packaging is the one that doesn't get dirty now and it has all the color names in the back which is perfect for me and youtube so i definitely need to work on this palette a lot more i do know i did one look from what i know from what I remember, I did one look on this one. Again, if I did, I'll leave it up here. I love this palette, though. The quality is beautiful. I have used it. I took it to Mexico. Um, I went in October, and I did take this palette to Mexico. It is the one palette that I used, and it worked beautifully. I love the um, quality for the price. Definitely, definitely worth it. Like I said, I didn't pay full price for it, but I think it's worth it. You just get a lot for your bang, like definitely worth it the eyeshadow pants they're a nice size like there's nothing negative to saying you have your pops of color you have your warm tones your cooler tones and your light transition tone so you could do so much with this palette i love 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 that about it that it has a little bit of everything the next palette that i have is the kathleen lights times morphe i do have one other of these palettes to give away to one of you guys i know it's coming up in a future giveaway and it looks like this it's beautiful it has more of those cool tone kind of colors this green really stands out a lot i did an eyeshadow look using this green and it's definitely very different from the Too Faced one don't think that it's a like i feel like it has a little bit of like gold kind of like flex in there and it's a beautiful bright green really nice um formula overall it's a really nice palette is it, it the best eyeshadow formulation i definitely think the jacqueline hill one has better uh, formula and this one this one is drying i'm not gonna say it's not it's definitely dry um they can be a little bit patchy so these you do have to really work with them build them up nicely but um overall it's a good palette i mean i i think this was 15 bucks totally worth it um is it the best like i said it's not definitely not the best but I make it work and I like to support Kathleen Lights and I love that she does a lot of collabs with brands that are not high up there in price. So I really appreciate that and I could do anything to support Kathleen. Which by the way, right now I'm wearing her nail polish. I'm sorry you guys if I look at the viewfinder a lot. It's just that I like to make sure that the palettes are in focus and everything. And that it's not like down here or like up here, up here, up here. <laughs> if i just hold it here it'll be in the frame right because you know sometimes the light kind of hits it so i try to like make it so that you guys can actually see the packaging um so yeah this is the new Too Faced uh, collection holiday that came out this one was the ulta exclusive one i believe this one really gave me a lot of last year vibes to it like 2016 holiday collection vibes but what i do have to say is i actually prefer last year's uh 2017 it was pretty but i feel like last year's had more shimmers like more glittery shades and that's personally what i like if you like more of those like like shiny metallic colors then this one's for you because this one doesn't really have those chunky glitters that Too Faced tends to do which i actually love oh, it's so pretty so pretty 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 and these do have like the, the more of those velvety moussey kind of feeling eyeshadows but yeah overall i think these are more of a collector's item as well now i do have to tell you i actually picked one up at marshall's yes i found one at marshall's actually my sister found it for me she was like amy look I'm like what and it was 24.99 definitely like almost half of the price i think yeah half of the price so i highly recommend you guys check them out over there try to find them um 
I like them. I don't regret purchasing them just because I am a Too Faced collector. They're cute. I can use them. But I definitely do think you don't need more than one until Too Faced comes out with something that's totally different for the holidays. The next palette that I have here is kind of like a regret purchase, but I still keep it because I am a makeup collector and I like to have the things complete. So I kind of feel like I love the tone. I love the packaging on the Naked 3 by Urban Decay. So I kind of need it in my life, even though I barely use these colors. Because though I do love the colors, I barely kind of like use them on my eyes. Um, I feel like I could get the same look that I have on my eyes right now with this palette, actually. But it's not a bad palette. It's just a palette that kind of gets boring the more you look at it. Like, first glance, you're like, oh, and then like. 10 minutes later, you're just like, oh, they're pretty similar. Oh, there's not a lot of contrast. Oh, yeah. The next one that I have here is the Love Rock Pro 3. I remember purchasing this one. I remember a lot of people not liking it. I liked it for neutral tones. I feel like this one is really beautiful for, like, a wedding, for, like, your parties, your night out. So you want to get wear something neutral, but you kind of want to make it smoky for the night. You could definitely do that with these shades. Lorac pigmentation is beautiful when it comes to blacks. Look at that. Oh, so this is definitely kind of like that wedding, kind of, like, innocent girl kind of tutorials that's what i go for so if you like those kinds of shades i definitely think go for this one i love the formula again love the formula but if you like color that's not the palette for you next palette that i have is by sleek this is their vintage romance eyeshadow palette oops i have not used this once i don't know if i will i really just got this because it was cute it came in a cute box with the highlighter palette and a different blush palette and out of the two things, three things, this is what I didn't really want. Um, I don't know. I've never played with Sleek Cosmetics eyeshadow, so I didn't want to, like, dip my hands into these. I haven't even swatched. Oh, these are soft. Oh, whoa. <gasps> these are nicer than I expected. They don't really look that appetizing. Appetizing. App pleasing. <laughs> okay. Okay, Sleek. Uh, I'm going to give you a chance. Those are pretty. Those are pretty. Uh, definitely drier than other high-end brands, but pretty. Oh. Oh, that was weak. That one was weak. See, so compare that black to this black. The next palette that I have is by Too Faced, and this is the Glitter Bomb palette. This palette is definitely not for the majority of you. I know a lot of people are like, ugh, glitter, ugh, glitter, ugh glitter mess all over my face <laughs> okay i'm kind of exaggerating i'm not making fun of you guys if you're like that but i i understand i understand why people don't really like glitter they don't. but i have to say i really like this palette <laughs> i love glitter like i love shiny sparkly things it's just my personality and i really love the way that they put a white and a black because you could definitely do stuff with that they're not the like most pigmented but what i like to do is Kind of like put a base under and then put these colors and then look what happens. For example, let's take fairy dust. Let's just take the lightest shade in here. Look at what happens when you put it over the white. It's pretty. Kind of like a wedding kind of shade. It's really pretty. And then look at what happens when you put it on the black. Oh, bam. It's a bomb right there. That is like really standing out how pretty that is so pretty it just gives you two very different colors i love this palette so much i love the shade work it that is so pretty i kind of want to put some on my eyes oh oh that is a nice pop oh yes i need to do the same thing to the other one see i didn't even need a brush and i went in it that's pretty the next palette that I have here is the Naked Urban Decay palette, another one of the OGs of YouTube and makeup tutorials. This one is so pretty. Um, I love how soft and velvety this feels. Feels so good. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> I'm so weird. But the tones, guys, the tones, they're so neutral. It, it kind of like my shades and then it goes to cool tones, which are not really my shades, especially the blue. I don't know. Like... I kind of regret purchasing this one too, but I feel like I needed it because it's one of the OGs. Again, this one is another one that you could use with this, like for a bridal. 
bridal definitely uh, special occasions neutral ones where you don't want to just stand out you just want to enhance that's when i feel like this palette's beautiful but i hardly go to parties the next palette that i have here is one of the, my custom z palettes that i did make um this is a hot pink one um i don't know guys do you guys see anyone getting z palettes anymore i feel like after the scandal that happened i don't remember what happened but there was definitely a scandal people stopped buying z palettes but i think that the quality is really nice so i still keep mine i mean i i wasted money on them so why would i not keep them um yeah this has a little bit of everything makeup geek it has some studio makeup on the go eyeshadows it has urban decay yeah a little bit of everything do i barely use them yep i barely use them <laughs> but i still have them then i have this one which is one of my favorite z palettes because it has glitter i love glitter glitter everywhere bling 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 i love bling <laughs> It's really pretty. I love gold too. So yeah. And then here I have some PH Cosmetic blushes, bronzers, and then Milani. A lot of Milani, which I don't know when I'm going to use these colors. But apparently, one of these days I will. The next palette that I have, I had, I had to get it because it was holographic. Look at that hollow. And it had glitter. Yeah, that's why I got it. And so far I have one Anastasia Beverly Hills palette eyeshadow next palette that i have here is the tardis pro palette i actually love this palette a lot i love smelling it i love grabbing my palettes and just smelling them when they smell good so that that's really like a good selling point for me like that a lot of brands should take that into consideration making the palette smell good uh yeah i love this i love the colors i love the warm tone i love the way it's kind of built because this could be an eyeshadow look this could be an eyeshadow look this could be an eyeshadow look and this could be an eyeshadow look or you could just play around which is what i tend to do next one that i have huda beauty Be um warm brown obsessions this palette is beautiful don't let the little size intimidate you these pants actually contain the same amount that the actual full size palettes do so yeah these are beautiful these remind me of those little puzzles that you would like kind of like move around to like create it solve the little image puzzle do you guys know what i'm talking about if you do let me know what that's called <laughs> yeah i love these tones they're so beautiful it hardly looks like i use them but i really use them a lot and i love next one Too Faced the power of makeup by nikki tutorials as you can see i own a lot of Too Faced. i love a lot of Too Faced. packaging on this i hated it like it was cute if you like leopard if you like pink uh but overall the leopard cheetah print i don't really tend to go for those but i love the inside it's so cute i love these heart shaped blushes um quality wise it's really good i mean it's not a bad palette it's not amazing compared to what i have now compared to like over time i feel like you get to know more formulas you get to know different pigmentations different um just different quality stuff and like um at the point at the time where i reviewed this i remember like i don't think i had that much experience with so many high-end um and now what i could say is i still really like this palette um the matte heel could be better but the shimmery ones like these i love these i love these so much okay not sugar coated sugar coated was all right but i love these especially these two i love them so much so pretty um the next one here is the Too faced chocolate bonbons so one of my favorite Too faced palettes i love this palette so much a lot of people were intimidated by by this um hot pink um right here fetish totally fetish <laughs> totally fetch i kind of i, I kind of had it kind of halfway there <laughs> um i love it though i this is the first pink that i started playing with on my crease and i think i'm gonna do another tutorial using this palette for valentine's day um which i should really get on because valentine's day is like in like less than two weeks no it's in two weeks so yeah i really love this palette it's really really beautiful i love that totally fetch color and satin sheets oh my god is it not beautiful the most beautiful highlight ever i love it so much it's like the shift that it has to it it's kind of white and gold kind of white and gold so beautiful i love satin sheets but yeah i'm tired how do you recommend that one to you but yeah even more i recommend the sweet peach palette by two Faced. this one was beautiful oh my god i hit pan on caramelized oh no candied peach that's the name of that one i hit pan on it i don't know if you could tell 
but I definitely hit pan on it. And because of that, I kind of got scared to keep using it and I put it away because I got it the first time around when it was limited edition. And yeah, I was so scared. So I put it away. And that's why like I had the dent and I was like, I'm putting it away. It's one of the, my favorite shades like from Too Faced overall. I really love that shade. It's so pretty. And then I really love the one just above it, just peachy. I feel like that one's similar to the one on my eyes right now. Bellini, I love the names to this palette and I love the way it smells. Overall, this is my favorite Too Faced like smelling scent because it's one of that peach artificial um, scent that I really, 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 really enjoy. And the next one is another Too Faced one. video with Too Faced. Honestly, fun fetty. This one was a disappointment. I got this one at QVC, I believe. It was like a limited edition. I don't like this palette. I keep it because I can't part with the heart shaped mirror, but the palette overall was horrible. And this goes to show, you know, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. This palette was horrible to me. Everything just barely showed up on me. They, you could tell them they're they're here. They look like ch chalk. It's pretty much what they look like. Like just chalk barely any color to them like even the darker ones like i think maybe there were two that i liked oh that one's pretty that one's pretty too okay but like how am i supposed to work with it if the light tones don't work like you know like i just they're so light and next one that i have here is the oh Next one is a Lorac Mega Pro 4. I got this one for me. I got it. I also actually got it for my sister for Christmas. For two of my sisters. And I got this one for a giveaway, guys. And it is beautiful. I love it so much. So pretty. I do have to say the lighter shades kind of disappointed me a little bit. But the rest of the palette makes up for it. I love these metallic colors. Like, I have a, um, a tutorial using this shade Peacock. <gasps> it's beautiful. That tutorial was really intense. I highly recommend you to watch it. Steel wool, guys. Oh, my God. Look at Moss, which is a green I typically don't go for. It. That is so pretty. The pigmentation, the metallics in this palette just like took were mind blowing. So I highly recommend this one to you. But you do have to be someone who likes to play with color. Because the colors that they have in this palette are a little bit out of um the ordinary. And they don't have a lot of sequence, in my opinion. Next one, La Rock Mega Pro 3. I love this palette even more. <laughs> This one is definitely my kind of palette. This is the palette I tend to use when I go and do um, makeup on other people. You know, sometimes. I've done it a couple times. Um, and I think both times I've worked with this palette. Yeah, both times. And the thing is, this one is also very bridally going out. But it has more of those shades to make the look a little bit more dark, more intense. And it has those metallics that just really make your eyes pop in the center. It's really beautiful quality. This one is my favorite Lorac Mega Pro palette. So if you can, get your hands on this like whenever they release it for a limited time. Because they do like to do that with the Mega Pro. So people that don't have the whole collection, get the whole collection. Um, yeah, so next palette, Venus Beach by Lorac. These palettes are so cute, really nice quality. If you like little mini palettes, definitely go for these. I honestly, like, I don't know. I, I don't know what I was thinking. They're beautiful quality, yes, but I got them because they were, like, on clearance. But, um, you know, to have this one with, like, 32 eyeshadows and then this one with, like, 6 eyeshadows, I think, I guess. The other ones were totally worth it, so I don't know. But they are cute. If you're minim minimalistic, that, that would be really cute. This one by Winky Lux, the kitten palette. I don't know if I'm going to get a lot of uses out of it, but it's really, really pretty. I really like this shade because it's really, like, um like dimensional. It has, like, different shifts to it. Kind of, like, pink, blue, green, kind of silver in there. And, like, it's really, really pretty. See that? It's really pretty. I really like that one. Got that one in BoxyCharm. Then I have another little rock one. This one's Malibu. I love like the LA theme to it. Oh my god, I love a beach house in this one. So pretty. That would be a really nice highlight. I need to use that as a highlighter. Um, yeah. Root one. Oh my god, that's so pretty. Beautiful, beautiful quality. I mean the quality in them is great. It's just like I don't tend to go to them because I go for larger palettes. This one is a Dream Street by Kathleen Lights and uh 
ColourPop, beautiful palette. One of my faves. Love the quality. Um, what can I say? They do have a little bit of fallout. ColourPop does, um, from what I've been able to tell, have kickback. A little bit more than the little. Okay, medium. Medium amount of kickback. Um, but they blend easily. They're not like the softest. They are a little bit on the dry side. Metallics are really nice. They work better with your fingers though. Oh, I thought I dented it. Really pretty. Next color prompt one. Element of surprise. This palette is really pretty, but overall I really haven't gravitated towards it. I don't know why. Maybe it's the, I find that sometimes the color of the actual palette has a lot to do with it. And I feel like this dark purple packaging kind of takes away from the color. And it makes it look a little bit less intense it takes a little bit all away from the actual like presentation of the colors so i feel like that's sometimes like a problem with like packaging and the way brands package things because this purple you know this dark purple takes like a lot away from the eyeshadows meanwhile if this was white you know the eyeshadows would really pop and then i'd feel more inspired to use it that's my overall opinion on that We're almost done guys almost done the next one i'm gonna have is the another color pop one this one is the i think i love you palette this palette is beautiful i just haven't gotten to play with it to be completely honest i think i've used it once and that was it and i love these two shades here oh my god these are so buttery soft oh my god they're so beautiful so this one is really pretty if you like to make like those like beautiful gold coppery kind of color eyes this one's really really pretty highly recommend that one to you and yeah guys let's go on to the last ones already i have the elf prism eyeshadow in sunset this one is really really beautiful i really liked this one at one point in my life um now i'm honestly gonna say i'm a little bit of a snob and i like don't really use those anymore i'm so sorry elf this one is the again prism palette but in smoke i barely use this one it's a very cool toned and not my cup of tea i realized so I barely use that one i love the naked one i just broke it that one's really used but i highly recommend that one then i made this create your own um customizable eyeshadow palette by buxom and I, i'm going to be completely honest i love all these colors but together in this palette i feel like they didn't work and i think i'm gonna leave the eyeshadow palette creation to brands and not myself because i don't think this one worked but i do really love these three shades i love these i just i don't know when i'm gonna wear these like i don't know what i was thinking i don't know guys then i have the elf matte for matte the first one i have yet to get the rosy tone one but again this is the same thing that happened with the naked palette um the og one like they're just really boring colors to me i don't really do their daily natural really nude light toned looks and it's preference i don't really gravitate towards it next one is boxycharm time blink electric eyes palette this one is popping these are so beautiful some of the best formulation for metallics that i have seen up to date oh my god oh my god look how those pretty those are some of the best guys i um not lastly before the last ones i have three mark jacobs um eyeshadow palettes this one is the vamp this one is the tease this one is the enigma um they're really pretty i love the packaging so high-end i'm gonna be completely honest do i think these eyeshadows are worth 80 dollars for the original price no to be completely honest i paid for these 20 bucks i found them at marshall and i'm gonna be completely honest with you i don't even think they're worth that they're beautiful i feel like this is definitely a collector's item i'm so happy i get to enjoy these babies but i don't think these are worth the money the eyeshadow formula i feel like the Lorac one is better it's like less than half of the price of these and yeah that's what i have to say about that so the last ones that i have to share with you guys is the Too faced white peach palette and the Too faced just peachy matte if you like warm tones you need the just peachy mattes in your life like a asap like there's no thinking about this palette you need it in your life if you like warm tones it's beautiful it smells amazing this one has more of like a candle peachy scent not so much like the artificial peach candy 
So I actually really enjoy the Sweet Peach one more, but this one also smells good. I'm not complaining. Um, I love this palette. The pa it's, it's just the blendability, everything you could do with it. It kind of looks boring, but it's not. It's really, really good. Like, I highly recommend this one. Now, the White Peach one, first time trying it today on the eyes. Actually, I did cheat because you saw that I put another eyeshadow on top. Um, it came out beautiful. I really like the eyeshadow look, but... Let me tell you, I used almost every single eyeshadow in this palette. And what I have to say is I I feel like these fell flat for me. Like, these two rows just fell flat. And there's really nothing that can change that. Like, I'm going to use it more because today I only feel my first impression on it. But right off the bat, like, I feel like there's no going back with this palette. I am going to play with it more. But, but as I said in the video for my first impressions, which, which is actually my Spanish channel, if you want to check it out, I will leave the Spanish channel link down below or at the end of the video. Um, I don't know. It might have to go back to the store, sadly, even though I feel like these are perfect for each other. Um, I don't know. Just It fell flat. It did. And I hope throughout me using it, like maybe one more week, I will see some changes. I will see, you know, I could actually do this with this palette, this with that. But today, right off the bat, I, could, I, I had to say, like, it was disappointing. And yeah, guys, with that, I conclude my eyeshadow palette collection 2017. Let me know what you guys thought, and I will see you in the next video because this was a really long video. So already give it a big thumbs up, and I will see you in the next video. Muchos besos. I love you guys. I appreciate all of you guys. And if you are new, subscribe. See you in the next one. If you would like to check out my previous video, I will leave it up here for you guys. If you want to see a video that is suggested just for you, click here diagonally. If you want to subscribe to my channel, Born Beautiful, click here in the circle icon. Or click the one on the right side in order to go check out my Spanish one because it is also amazing. And I will see you there. Bye, guys.